Hello, football and sports fans, especially fans of the USFL. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I am here with my Week 7 picks and a slight recap of Week 6 of the USFL. Now, if you saw my picks last week, you know that the Sportsman went 3-1. and one. Of course, I was very fortunate to go 3-1 and one because New Jersey just barely hung on to win by scoring with the last second touchdown that they got from like the one or two yard line. But that stupid quarterback they've got, Luis Perez, that dude fumbled the ball twice. So, I mean, they did everything they could to give the game to the gamblers, but they ended up winning. So they pulled it out. This is also the first week that I got the Panthers game right. I picked them to lose, which was fortuitous because that's exactly what happened with them. So, yeah, I went 3-1, and one, and that evens my record back to 12-12 12 and 12 on the year. So, six weeks, 24 games, I'm 12-12. 12 and 12. So, uh, with that having been said, let's look at uh, some highlight footage from the games of this past weekend in the USFL.
right, so <clears throat> here are a look at the standings after six weeks of USFL play. We start with the North. And remember, the top two teams in each division go to a playoff against each other, and then the winner plays uh, the winner of the other division in the USFL championship game. And right now, it looks like you can say in the North, it's going to be the Generals and the Stars playing for the uh, North Division Championship. The Generals and, and the, well, the Generals are five and one. The Stars are three and three. But the Panthers are one and five and the Maulers are one and five. Now, obviously, with uh, four weeks left of play, it is possible for the Panthers and or the Maulers to catch the Stars. Um, but I wouldn't plan on it, not with how they play. So that brings us to the South Division. And you've got the Stallions walking away with the uh, South Division at 6-0. The Breakers are four and two. The Bandits are three and three, and the Gamblers are one and five. Again, um, I, I don't want to say we can easily tell that it's going to be the Stallions and the Breakers. It could be the Bandits. The Bandits could slip in there. They've been playing better lately, so uh, I, I think the Bandits are starting to to really, um, you know, uh, hit their stride. So the Bandits, I wouldn't count them out. Uh, but I think the Stallions are definitely going to be one of the two teams, and then it'll be either the Breakers or the Bandits. That much you can tell at this point. So that's where they are with the standings. So it's time for the picks, the moment you've been waiting for, the Week 7 picks. So uh, the first game, there's going to be two games on each of Saturday and Sunday. The first Saturday, May 28th, and the first game on that day will be at noon, and it will be the New Jersey Generals and the Tampa Bay Bandits. And you know who I'm going to go with here? <laughs> I'm going with Tampa Bay, yeah. Surprisingly, I am going with Tampa Bay to beat New Jersey. I think New Jersey really, I mean, they should have handled the gamblers easily last week and they ended up having to win by one point with a last second touchdown and i think tampa bay has been playing better lately and i think they're just starting to hit their groove so i'm going to go with tampa bay in that game um and the next game is a 9 p.m game and that's going to be the breakers against michigan yeah <laughs> right yeah, we're going to go with the Breakers in that one. I don't see any way on God's green earth in this universe or any of the other multiverses that Michigan beats um, New Orleans. So take uh, the Breakers in that game, and now that moves us to the Sunday games. The first game on Sunday is going to be uh, Birmingham against Pittsburgh. Yeah, right. Pittsburgh gone. Let's go with Birmingham. They're undefeated, and I think they're going to stay undefeated next week and and proceed to 7-0 on the season. And now the last game of the uh, schedule for next weekend is the 6 p.m. game on Sunday, May 29th, and that is Philly against Houston. And again, this might be a little bit surprising, but I'm going to go with Houston in this one. The Stars are, they're a hard team to figure out. They, they win, they lose, they win, they lose. They look like they should be a good team, a good, solid, real contending team. And, and they are only because they're in a, in a division where the, the bottom two teams are terrible. But they are, they, I don't know, they play down to their competition. The Gamblers, you know, the Gamblers have lost on like last minute plays, last second plays, last touchdowns, final touchdowns in the final second. They've lost games like that, like the last three or four weeks in a row. So I think, um, I don't want to say like with Tampa Bay that they're about to hit their stride. 
but I think they've lost a lot of games that they could easily have won, and their record could be much better. And the Stars, really, their record could be much worse. So I'm going to go with the Gamblers in that one. So how do you guys like those picks? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave your comments below who you think is going to win this weekend and who is going to lose. And I got my 12-12 and 12 record. I'm taking it out for a spin, and let's see if I can get above 500. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.